Hi, as promised, here's how you create the proctorial quiz on Canvas that links to my lab or my open math and the student can do their assignment in my lab or my open math while being proctored by proctorial. So, uh, so this method was shown to me by Kevin and Mutsuno. So a big thank you to Kevin and Mutsuno. All right, I'm going to do an example with uh, my lab, but uh, my open math works very similarly. All right, first thing you do is you create a quiz or test in my lab. Um, set the due date and everything. And what you do is uh, you put in a password because you don't want students to inadvertently open your assignment before you're ready. And you save and assign the new quiz. And you move over to, um, to the quiz link. And you open that quiz as, as if you were a student. You copy the URL link to this quiz. Uh, what you should note is the assignment number, the test ID. Uh, write it down on a piece of paper. And this is the reason why you're going to have to go back and edit this quiz later. I'm not sure when it does and when it doesn't, but sometimes it changes the test ID number and sometimes it doesn't. But if it does, then you want to know about it, then you make changes. All right, number four is that in Canvas, you create a quiz. And within that quiz, you create a question that links to the MyLab quiz. Click the external link button, control V to paste the URL, and now click on the um, less than greater than bracket symbols to open the HTML editor. There are two things to do here. Number one is to check that target equals underscore blank is there. It should be there. This is the default for the new canvas. It opens any link in the new window. But these two attributes that follow the REL equal attributes, they are a security feature that prevents information from being passed back from the, the, uh, the link. Well, we do want the inf information to be passed back. And also, it's, you know, it's my lab, so we are pretty sure it doesn't contain viruses or anything. So, um, so I would delete those two attributes. I save my question, um, set the due date, and enable Proctorio on Canvas. In the proctorial setting, what I should turn off is anything that prevents new screen or new tabs. The, the, um, the MyLab assignments will need sometimes to open new windows. It, it may need to uh, access a cache memory, etc. So I don't want Proctorio to mess with that. All right, and I turn on Verify Login. It automatically creates a password 
So I copy that password. And what I do is I paste it into the password in my lab. That way, when Proctorio opens the link and my lab asks for the password, Proctorio will be able to pass that password on and open it. And the last thing I do is I double check that the test ID has not changed because of the editing. All right, so that's the end of the creation process. In order for students to do this assignments, however, they need to run through this extra step. So when I do the instruction to students, I always add on this instruction that says before this starting, before starting a test from Canvas, they should open any of my lab assignments like a homework, a previous homework or something um, so that a connection is established between my lab and um, and Canvas. Matter of fact, what I have all the time is a mock exam where I go through, first of all, I, I want to go through this process for myself, right? And second of all, uh, so that the student have opportunities to practice the, the computer steps before they have to do the real thing.